What's up everybody, Texicana Barbecue. Today, we're going to talk about the JNR oiler. This specific one is the model 800, is a rotisserie automated smoker. JNR is proudly made in US in Mesquite, Texas. This specific one is a big boy, it's about 5.5 feet wide, 10 feet long and more than 8 feet high. So no matter what your beloved one made you believe, but size matters, especially in Texas. From that little knob you can adjust the temperature, the red one is the temperature that you set and the black one is the actual temperature inside the cooking chamber. When the internal temperature reach the preset temperature, the sensor gonna communicate to the damper and the damper gonna shut. There is also a control panel, which the first knob, the orange one, is the EVAC. The EVAC is connected to a damper in a smokestack and a turbine, what it basically does, it pulls the smoke away when we open the door. The red one instead commands the rotisserie, rotisserie on, rotisserie off. The black one instead manages the electric assist in cook mode or in hold mode and the other smaller one manage the different setting. By pushing the round one in the bottom it activates the rotisserie when the doors are open. Now in the inside of the JNR it gets interesting. We have this ginormous rotisserie system with 12 shells. The only downside of this system is that if something happened to the rotisserie maybe a shelf fell off or something, the rotisserie will go on and on and will destroy everything. One of the best features of the JNR is the loading and unloading the meat is very easy and it is also extremely well insulated. Another amazing feature of the JNR is how much meat you can squeeze in it. In this video I was making 126 rack of pork ribs by putting the third shelf, which is not ideal because it's very hard to stick your hand into it and those shelves are hot as hell. Brisket wise instead, you can easily squeeze 60 brisket, even though I don't like to cook brisket on a general oiler. In the opposite side of the door, from that hole right there, it comes all the heat connected to the firebox. On the top instead, beside the vent, we have the heating element, which turn the JNR in a sort of general mus oven. Cooking wise, personally, I never use the electric element to cook, but they're great for holding the meat on a very specific temperature, very effective. Another interesting thing to know about the oiler is that the top shelf will always cook much faster than the bottom shelf. So make sure that your biggest piece of meat, they're always on the top shelf. But now let's take a look on the very heart of the JNR oiler, the intricate airflow system that the JNR oiler is known for. The smokestack is connected to the EVAC. When the EVAC sends the signal, the smokestack is going to open along with the little door over there on the side. In the back there is a little door which basically what it does, it manages the intake of air in the firebox. And the firebox is directly connected to the cooking chamber. And that is the intake I was just talking about. There is a, a little pin that basically manage is a very ingenious way of managing the airflow. When the cooking chamber it reach the preset temperature, the door will shut, otherwise the door will be open. The firebox is probably one of the most best insulated firebox out there. JNR they are known to hold temperature big time, just look at that door. The heat and the smoke will travel from the sort of L-shaped smokestack into the cooking chamber and when needed, where is the red leverage over there, the smokestack will open and will connect to a turbine which will basically pull the smoke away and the heat from the cooking chamber. In the center of the bottom of the cooking chamber, there is the spigot which you can dump all the juices from the cooking process. But let's try to understand better the flow of the JNR. The flow of the JNR it seems complicated and it really is. From the firebox, the smoke and the heat will go through the cooking chamber and from a, with a very technical symphony of door, leverage, sensor, he will manage the airflow basically. Well, let's compare the airflow to an offset. The offset has one, two, pull, that's it. 
The JNR instead has a much more complicated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's why, me personally, I don't like to cook brisket in it. But the JNR is great to cook whole hog pork ribs. Actually, the pork ribs, I think they come out better in a JNR than an offset smoker. See, the problem cooking brisket in a JNR is that the cooking chamber, it doesn't have a real fast pull of the smoke. So, as a consequence, it creates a lot of moisture and a sort of stinky smoke. There is a way, of course, of minimizing that by managing the fire like an offset smoker. And I always, when I use JNR, I never set and forget it. I set and I'm there every minute. I've worked with JNRs for years and I have used them and abused them. Long story short, I think that the JNR, in my personal opinion, is great for certain kind of meat and is not so great for others. And even though this smoker, it costs $50,000, I think is worth it. And what do you think? Do you ever use the JNR oilers? Let me know in the comment section. And that'll be all for today. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook as Texicana Barbecue. Support my channel by subscribing and sharing my content and I'll see you soon. Ciao!